Welcome back to Stock Smart Investing, where we use technical analysis to determine proper entry and exit points in the marketplace. We've got VTNR pulled up here. Now, had you subscribed to the channel, you would have known about VTNR right when it started to move. Okay. It came in my watch list somewhere during this squeeze right here. Okay. Now. We can see it's on the four hour chart. Obviously a short. And given that the current signals. Okay. And we've got a lot of stocks have showed up on this for YouTube example. It sends here. And many of these, which are red, AMC all the way at the bottom. Okay. Which means they've still got good criteria, but they're in a dip. Not a bad thing. All right. So let's check out our Kapok curve. And we have these, AMCX, which I knew that would be having a pop soon. There we go. Charge point. ADMP I wrote down. Okay, so these are on the Kapok weeklies. And I believe this is going to have a bit of a pop while Arun up travels. <coughs> Let's see. we got to get closer. It should push up just a little bit from here to here. We might have missed that move already, but it looks like we're still able to catch it. Yeah. Okay. A little short-term reversal. Yeah. Okay. What is K pay? your bottom, there's your top, and it looks like uh, we're being squeezed right now. So it's going to get squeezed and possibly pushed down even more. The only way to know is if we can get a uh, push up somewhere around here. We are getting one, just one, you know, signal. pull out our list. And see where we can find something that's going to move. Or something that looks like it's got uh, plenty of room to move. Yeah. 
and we've noticed a few stocks come in. Let's see if we can get those pulled up. Okay. Now a lot of these Let's start with Pixie. Okay, looks like we're starting to get some buying pressure coming in. Yes, yes, I like it on the daily. I like it on the four hour. Some volume in here, a good VWAP signal. And on the weekly, we are within a squeeze. Okay, a little bit of a squeeze here. Okay. Looks like Pixie should be finishing its, uh, you know, downwards push soon so price should be trending up it should have a big pop next week <clears throat> okay we've got TCDA and Epcel this looks like it's just a little bit behind but price should continue to trend up okay Come down to the daily. We do have earnings coming up soon, though. Which is why I expect it to get pushed down on earnings. Okay. Yeah, we're going to keep getting pushed down. Yeah. And green dot squeeze. F cell. All right, I like this. Let's be watching for a bottom here, an F cell, fuel cell energy. F R S X A D M A. Well, looks the same. A D M A. Look at that big tight squeeze. Okay. Looks like this might finally let it go. And you'll get the trade from the high. You know, from your VWAP here. To your VWAP signal here. To your VWAP signal here. And now we're waiting for our next VWAP. Uh, this is going to slowly push down and then we're hoping for a pop uh, a bit of a explosive move here um, yeah let's hope they have a good earnings report even though the Arun is getting bullish and it looks like it could be having that reversal very soon okay now let's get rid of our cyber cycles, our Arun indicator on a two period, and uh, okay, I don't know that we need to see our P and L right now. All right. So let's pull up a uh, vortex, a vortex, vortex, here we go. Let's see, let's try this one. Okay. 
Okay, have we hit the height of our move? Let's take our vortex here, and we'll bring it out to 150. We'll hit OK, we'll hit Apply. There we go. And so we're looking for times where it is positive on the 150 period. I don't know how helpful that's going to be to us right now. Maybe not that helpful. Okay, we've got BT, BT. Oh, wow. See the, the list that's going off? That's everything since the weekend. Thanks for turning your servers back on. Oh, the Kapok Weekly is going off. And the accumulation swing index is going off. Very good. I feel like I just got spammed. I just got scrolled. No scrolling. You have been halted for 60 seconds for scrolling. Thanks, AOL. And it's really funny to have these, anyway, some people come up and you can clearly see they're not even old enough to have uh, touched the computer, uh, <laughs> you know, when AOL was around. I specifically remember going to Walmart, getting the AOL 30-day free trial, and as long as you made a different email address, you got 30 days free. Every single time, it didn't matter. Infinite internet glitch when it was still back in the, you know, early time. Um, I mean, eventually they did catch on to that, but it worked for so long. I mean, I think I remember two, three years. Um, I mean, all the way from Windows 95 to Windows 98 and uh, maybe even 2000, that still worked. If you would install a new AOL disk, create a new email you would have the free service for a month. Of course, it was dial-up back then, and it was uh, a week to download one song. I remember, uh, well, I specifically remember, uh, the, you know, let's just say the song Mr. Mom, that came out. I remember downloading uh, the music video for it, it taking nearly a month. Um, yeah, that was peer-to-peer -peer sharing back then. Okay, so bit digital here. We see where it had its huge high and run here, and uh, had you been with the channel, you would have known about the bit digital, you know, explosion. And of course, now we've known to stay away from it, and we're just starting to get a buying opportunity again on the weekly. Okay, now if this trend continues, I expect it'll con continue to get pushed down. From here to here is usually uh, an upwards move. So this one, fortunately, okay. Although the weekly looks good, and we know what's been going on here with the Bitcoin. Um, let's see if we can get a push above here, but, huh. It looks like short term we're going to continue to go down in price. But long term, we're going to have a big move upwards, and Bit Digital is going to go way higher than $33 on its next run. Okay? We would be shorting from here, okay, until the signal to uh, buy back happens. All right? And we can use our moving average coming out here as that signal. Or we can use, let's say, huh. If a rune up takes over, hits this bottom and bounces, or even goes straight up, that's going to put bit digital. It's going to plummet. 
it will plummet in price. Okay. And on the four hour here, let's hope that we're hitting our heights and we can start to look for a crossover soon. We did get a VWAP signal to buy. And then a red dot squeeze. On the four hour chart, this could be a bit of a shake off. If we can get this and the buying pressure to come in, we'll get that crossover and that big explosion in BT. BT. Okay. Now, these Kapok curves. There we go. Buy signal, hit a bottom. Mm, we haven't quite shown ourselves out of uh, volume over moving average here, but that's okay. Be watching this one. Okay, I don't know what Lev is. What's Lev? Lion Electric? Yeah, that one looks like it's going down. And a charge point is hitting on the Kapok weekly list. Even though it's coming down in price big time. Yeah, that's that's a very, very uh, tight squeeze there. It's going to start forming. Okay. Let's see. Load. AUI. ASTR. BSBR. TBIO. Uh, for some reason, I have TAL and EDU. EDU. They might have been on the Kapok list. There we go. It's because of the recent low. Okay. And we do have a buy signal. All right. QRHC, BLRX, CRESY, GLOP, VON, OSG, Watt, ATER, you hey yo or hexo yeah h e x o w p r t b r q s a d v m t n x p t y m e looks like new egg wish p t r a hut let's see the hut Okay, I see. Yes, the mining, of course. Anything to do with the mining. We've got IDN. Okay, and this one seemed to show up pretty big on the lists for some reason. Looks like it is... Uh... I'm looking to get pushed back in price here short term. Let's hope it continues to run up. DVN on the YouTube daily. Okay. So IDN on the daily. Looks like we're going to get a push down up until earnings. This uh, bit of a squeeze. So it's probably going to last all the way into, uh, you know, here. Probably just about into earnings. Okay. So IntelliCheck, uh, Mobilisa might get a gap and go on earnings, actually. So let's look for that. You know, push down and a pop. All right. Now let's pull out our time and price. Our TP Oscar. And see what we have. Yeah. And point of control. You know, high and low values. Yeah, I, I 
I think we're going to get pushed down here. That seems to be it. And even though buy signal, that's only on the one hour chart. Have a little bit of a pop and then pushed back down. Recent high. It's worth watching. All right. Now we've got C E M E I P O F I M M R A C I C A C I C. Okay. wouldn't really trust this one either, given uh, what this looks like. That just doesn't look normal. And yeah, not a whole lot of that looks normal. Okay. So we've got, uh, we are well below, you know, uh, can we get ACIC above $10.22? If you can, then you can push it. If not, then it's going to be a little harder, okay? But given that a rune up is crossing 70 on its way through to 50, we will see a slight increase. Now, if that slight increase can have enough push and pressure behind it, it'll turn into a big increase because there's nothing above AC, IC, really holding it down. Um, you may have people who shorted from up here. But it's not as massive as, uh, let's just say, all of the people down here. Okay. That's $9.66. Okay. Oh, 11.03. Okay. So let's look for a height somewhere around ten ninety nine or eleven dollars. So this may give you a one dollar move. All right. Now iPod, iPod, F M C K P F M C, uh, maybe C I F M M C C I. Fed home loan. Now, oh, so many Fed home loans were showing up on my, and if you look, you can see why, because they've recently hit lows, and check this out. This is something that we look for, okay? I don't want to whistle into the mic and, uh, you know, ring people's ears, but, you know, ding dong, ding dong, higher than normal uh, time and price values. Pay attention to these. Oh, very good. Very good. Uh, on the weekly and a low. All right. So we may still continue to get pushed down, but we know that they're going to spike back up. And this is a th very typical thing that we see. Um, Let's just see if Got You still has the same characteristics on the weekly. It does not. On the daily? On the daily, it does. On the daily, the way up at $87, uh, $85, and $53. So you can see that we are well under, and this is a manipulated price. So... If we're being pushed down now, uh, we can expect, uh, uh, yeah, we can expect to see it continue to get pushed down. Looks like, okay, almost ready to let it go. All right, so with this low being in place, we should start to see a buying signal. And as we're coming out of here, out of the gate, that's a good buying signal, all right? Yeah, you know, these are going to give us short-term plays. And they're 
last signal was to sell, but uh, we will see a recovery, and when we do, we can see that uh, on the four-hour chart, we're here still at $70. So pay attention, all right? Here's your bottom. Here's your top. We need to find our very next bottom before we can go for a next run. So where's our next bottom going to find at? Probably at this level or this level. MSGM. Motorsport games. Okay. People like gaming. Yeah, it kind of seems like the move was... It's kind of already done here, though. Oh, well... Maybe on the daily it isn't. We could still have a gap up here to this $27. And that's uh, before it even gets above zero. So this could be a big move. If we can uh, get up to keep traveling this way, a rune down to keep coming, good positive signal, green Heikinashi, recent low. Uh, so from low to high, I mean, we did miss a little bit of it from $14, but that's okay. Uh, I'd say from 14 to 38, the upside versus downside is very well worth it. Um, I say MSGM, continue to watch it. It is a watcher. Absolutely. Coffee sip. Same unit on space station. Let's see. Looks like VJet. VJet. Okay, a little bit of a green dot squeeze here. I don't like the the lower values here. Here's our bottom. Okay, so we're looking to switch over and go positive. All right. Hopefully this uh, you know, finds a good bottom and trends up. But given its price versus the bid and the ask and how wide that is, I don't know. All right. Let's do FMCKP. FMCKP. It's going to be another Fed home loan mortgage, 5.7%. All right, looks like it's hit a, a recent low, but the actual value is way up here. All right. And so that could give you room for a big move. And see how tight this squeeze is right here? Depending on how long this squeeze lasts, I mean, they could pull this squeeze out for months and months and months and months and months. Uh, anyhow, we are getting a low, a positive buying signal. And as this continues to travel, we will come up in price. So this FMCKP could be worth watching. We got VCVC, we have IO, we've got Kala, and PIP, and LEAP. ION Geophysical Corporation, okay. Looks like we've just been pushed and overextended from here. Here was, uh, looks like our bottom. All right. So let's have a little bit of a pushback right here into this level. Let's hope it hits this brick here, 416-ish. And, uh, well, let's see, it's a 206. Okay. No, that's uh, probably where they went short from. There's a bigger volume in there. Let me see here. Oh, let's go out to the weekly. And it looks like it's about to go bullish very soon. It doesn't have a whole lot holding it down. Yeah, we're we're pretty well flat. I mean, it's 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 down here. 
You have people, uh, you know, uh, who went short probably from each level. From $26. But uh, being the current low, uh, you know, the action here, um, I'm guessing that we're going to see a reversal here in this anytime soon. So keep watching IO. Uh, it's probably that I on television. Also, uh, let's see, Calithera Bioscience. Okay. Even though the price is $2, the uh, accepted value is around $5. So we can expect that to get pushed up too, and we can see we have earnings coming up and uh, moving average trying to just push upwards in that direction. So. I think that's what's going to happen here. Okay, expect Cala to continue going up. You know, even with the lowest accepted price value at uh, 369, it's it's less than the current value. Let's look on the weekly here. Okay, we can see on the weekly uh, the the bottoms a a little bit more normal. Okay. And we do have a bit of a cross here on the the vortex. Okay. So Atos, Ride, Workhorse, Nicola, Apps, Jag X, Laser, E V E M S Y P R I D R A, Fov, Staff. Looks like C S L T, Flux. And AMCX. Okay. Digital Turbine. Yeah, I mean, I, I liked it from, you know, here or here up to the height, but now it, uh, if it doesn't continue to run, then I don't really like this play. Um, and just going from here to here 6722 6942 73 and price continued to pop as uh you know this arun down you know traveled from you know 50 You know, as it drops in number, price goes up. Okay. Here we're at 32, but price is 76.70. All right. And let's go with staff. Looks like that's back on the list. And that's that staffing 360 solutions where we can see once we can get up above this eight dollar level, I mean it can it can just take off. You get it up above eight fifty three, I mean there's nothing holding it. Look at this. I mean this will cause just a complete spike from here, this nine ninety three, all the way up to this twenty dollar level where it's been before. A high of twenty oh four. All right. Looks like we do have earnings coming up. Mm, it's eight five. It's still a full month out. And we could see a big move in this full month. Okay. Looks like we're going to see a big move in this next full month. Pointing upwards, I do have a trend line put here. Okay. Very good. Check out PIP. Pine Island Acquisition Core. Okay. Don't know what that is. Okay, but this was uh, about the... Mm, highest price for this particular trend. 
Okay. Now we're going to see how low it's going to go and see if the Arun up can take over. If it can, this is the height of uh, that move, but it's really got to get above this 1045 before it starts hitting these resistance spots. And there's a bit of a gap there, a gap up to 1161. And that could very well happen. So let's hope uh, our Arun down gets pushed and our Arun up continues to travel up. So be watching Pip. I'm not sure of Pip's uh, volume. The volume's not that big, 48,000. PRVB and NYMX. NYMX. And Nymox farm. Uh, all right. Recent low. All right. Low to high. Low. Uh, okay. Higher than, uh, you know, say normal accepted TPO value. All right. 157. All right, so let's uh, let's expect to pop here in this also. NYMX. May it be short term. It does have a bullish trend coming soon. All right. CSLT, cast light health. Yeah, I don't like that. Looks like they've already hit their, you know, they're hitting their highs now. Uh, are they going to continue to run? It's possible, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. But it did show up on the Kophawk list. All right, now... Let's see what other things showed up. I had some. Let's see, what's this one? LGIQ. Uh, recent low. Very good. I like that too. Okay. So the ones that we've hit that all have recent lows. And those are ones we should be watching. And then we need to be looking with a recent low, $2.44, and the lowest accepted price at $5, and the middle at $7.93, and the height at $10.18. These are the moves we want to watch, okay? So LGIQ. Let's write that one down. So NYMX, LGIQ, and IDN. Okay. Kern. K E R N. So uh, I have a friend who has that last name, uh, Kernza. Okay. And see, we're right here at our accepted price. That's that's about normal, okay? And we've hit our high, being squeezed. And price is going to drop. Yes, price is going to drop. Okay, yeah, we're being squeezed and pushed down. Uh, but uh, given the particular signals, uh, we will see a reversal in this soon enough. And be watching for your uh, moving average signal here. Let's go check out the Lordstown. Yeah, just boy did this crash. Oh my goodness. Hope I mean, since we know that they have what thirty percent or something short interest, we can expect all of this to be that. Or, I mean, it can't be all of this. But it's more likely this this top half. Everything above this line here is probably short interest.
but given its recent low, we got our buy and our VWAP, uh, our VWAP bot caught the signals right here. Okay, so we got it there. Now we're hitting our recent low. We do have earnings coming up. We're already pretty well just beat. I mean, it's already beat. You don't need to beat on earnings. I mean, ride been beat. Okay. So I don't know if this is one of those ones. Uh, I don't. I don't think there's still a spec. But uh, yeah, no, they're not. I. That's why they started trading under RIDE. But anyway, yeah, with the recent low and the Doji happening here on the weekly, I would say earnings coming up and all that. Uh, you know, and if, if they can show us something interesting, you know, uh, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. You need to, you need to keep people interested. All right. I should take my own advice, right? See, here's our low. A bit of a high here. And go short again. We're waiting for our signal to buy. And we're going to get pushed down from here to here. Mm, there is a big gap here at 1568. So if it does gap up, it's very possible it could gap up to that 1568. Let's check the four hour here. And in all sense of the words, the accepted price is not a higher value whatsoever. Um, eek. Hopefully this is uh, the bottom, or getting very, very close to it. All right, let's check out the horse. WKHS, and of course Nicola is still trading, and I don't even know how. You know, I mean, oh, well, I mean, I guess it can still trade. Uh. All right. It looks like we're about to, mm, even for a bullish cycle, it wasn't that long. But the bullish cycle might be over. Oh, maybe not. I mean, it does have a lower than normal accepted price value. You know, people more think it's worth $3.50, which is probably more accurate given the the meme stock's attention. But that is on the weekly a buy signal. I mean, it, it simply is. Mathematically, probability, mechanically, whatever. I mean, that uh, that is a buy signal. And on the daily, we're getting a short signal. So does that mean we should be looking for a dip? We should be. Is this that dip? You know, I wouldn't, uh, or really, you should have been looking for this opportunity. <laughs> Let's go into our four hour. And on the four hour, we did get this selling, you know, signal here. Okay. So we'll get pushed down just a little bit more, I'm going to say. And it's, it's going to be a couple days before it starts to come back up. We will be alerted, though. And I don't know why, but we can look at Nicola. Hmm. 
and we can see our 150 period vortex indicator. It catches quite a few of them. And of course, uh, selling it being the last option there. This ran up to 39.30. And of course, Hylion did the same thing. I mean, uh, the, the wasn't the same price, but they ran up. Uh, 58.66. I mean, that, that was an incredible run. Of course, had we been smarter within the trading of Hylion, uh, it is a young company. Okay. So from here to our selling signal. And then we would have shorted I N T U. All right, then we would have shorted from here to here, and we would have started letting back up. Uh, but they continued to push it down, 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 down to the low, and then boop on the weekly low. Now we are Doji in the water. All right. And it looks like Doji in the water right across where we were. If not, maybe just a little bit above it. Um, basically giving, let's just say, I don't know. Uh, here, let's go from our, our low here. What's that current? 12.68. Here was our buy signal. 8.62. Go to here. So had you got in on the ground level uh, before it exploded in price, you'd still be up nearly 30% in 464 days. And had you invested a trillion dollars, a billion dollars, a million dollars, you'd, you know, 30%. So. Given that our cyber cycles catches a buying signal here, we get a low here, and we are starting to travel upwards. I'm going to say highly on on the weekly and being squeezed on the daily, but uh, pushed down. So look for a daily reversal before, you know, because uh, we're in a short period so let's let's see if it gets pushed down to you know say this level somewhere you know uh, let's find this gap here it looks like there's a gap and there's a gap okay so if it gets pushed down uh back into the eight dollar and 93 cent range then we can look for the reversal So from 769, we'll create an alert for Hylion, and we'll go uh, at or above, uh, more like uh, the Lilion, okay? And we can see, look right here in these extended hours, look at how much um, it started to move here. You biscuit. And <laughs> you can see that it was starting to stack up small amounts of buying, okay? Now, there's a, if you have your after hours, um, you know, trading turned off where you don't see those, then sometimes you don't see everything, but it's, it's good to be able to do that, okay? All right, so we're going to go over and we're just going to pull up our email. Let's get it big here. And we're going to see what has shown up just uh, overnight, okay? One of the important things I look for are the things that move while I'm not watching, okay? Because we can't watch everything. So we go into our email and we check our list. And 
now let's come here. I know the accumulation swing index for our VWAP up. And VWAP scans are hard to get working uh, based off of scanners. You know, I, I had one working the other day, and it almost seems like once I can create a loop that creates a loop that gets the scan to work, it figures out what I've done, and it cuts it off, just like I've done with the HA Colt. Um, I was able to get a loop to create a loop to come back to it and, and get the list to work, and then it cut it off, and I, it hasn't worked since. Um, and... I think I worked one time with the TTM squeeze, uh, with the TTM scalper alert. I was able to design a scan uh, and then get the TTM scalper alert to work once, and then, you know, same thing. It never worked again. So, and let's see if I can get this one working, this TTM bearish on the 15-minute chart. It might not work uh, un until market opens, but it's worth trying. Okay, we can go Kapok day true, Kapok weekly buy signal is true. This is going to show us all ones that have the buy signal being true on the weekly. Some of them we went through, some of them are new on the list. Uh, yes. Doi you. Oh, it looks like Doi you is uh, showing up on the. Oh, there's your low. All right, let's hope it trends up from there. Uh, so if we look at the four-hour chart, we can see we have a higher than normal accepted price and a higher than normal low accepted price, okay? So from here to here is sheer manipulation. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, Hexo, AYTU, Excella, IBRX, ALO, uh, ALLO, Lizzie, Veru. Yeah, and green dot squeeze right here. Hope it squeezes it right up above that line and then pop. Okay. GRWR, looks like DraftKings is up here. DKNG, DraftKings. On the four hour, it looks like we're trying to push down still a little bit. And here we go. We may have wanted our trade from the low, but we could have taken it from here to here. That works perfectly fine. And from here mm, to here, looks like we're still in a downwards play. So I don't know. I I'm, I'm, would not trust DraftKings just yet on the daily chart, even though on the weekly chart they are showing signs of a recovery. This will pop in price from here to here and then drop again. Switch over to our alerts. And let's see here. Let's pull it over here. Make it big. There we go. 
and we get our alerts. Now we can see which ones were added. You know, YouTube example, accumulation swing index. We have our Chende running or done, IDT, pass G, PRVB. So that one's going to be one that uh, is either about to take off or it's it's reaching a peak. There's no real way to know until you hone in on it uh, and see what the current volume is and if people are trading it, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Criteria. Okay, looks like Apple and OPTT, yeah, you know me, was added to the four-way Arun Daily. Okay. AMCX is uh, added to a list. ADMP, APOP, ATVI. I mean, it, it caught a lot of them. Looks like ESU21 and ES. All right. Accumulation Swing Index Daily. That's got ZIP, PTRA, Newegg, HUT, and HCM. Let's see, and on the Ehlers, uh, ADX, we've got GLOP, GDYN, and ASAN. Asante Sana, Squash Banana. And uh, BLIN, MRIN, NEO, SPCE, STEF, and a WISH. And Apple were all added at 7.45 this morning. Meme stock it up, boys. Let's go. ITRI, Sono. Okay, MDB, IFF, SNBR, APS, TSCO, TSCO. Is that the Tractor Supply Co? TSCO, uh, and Tractor Supply Co was its name. Oh, sure is. We take a ride on that big green tractor. We should have been in this from the bounce, and now from the bottom to the top. Will it continue to run? It actually looks pretty healthy. It could, um, if you continue to invest, even though the, uh, the average accepted price is way down here at ninety-one fifty-three, with a bottom of seventy dollars. Two hundred or one hundred eighty-seven is very overextended. So, I mean, on the weekly, yeah, just hit a high. Um, on the daily, mm, it's trying and trying very hard and coming above zero. Uh, recent buy signal. I mean, I think uh, pop short term and then push back down. So, I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll have a slight pop short term, and then we'll get pushed back down to this 165.46 or below. So let's create an alert for that area, and we'll go at or below. Let me know. And if it hits this 139.01, create alert. If it just gets uh, at or below 139, let me know. All right. And it's surprising that Apple, oh, QuantumScape. All right. Now, QuantumScape, I like it. It's got a green dot squeeze, a bunch of support under it. Yeah, recent low, good buying signal. Excellent. And from here to here was an upwards move. We're going to have a slight downwards move. And maybe a push down into one of these blocks. Uh, let's see, this block here. There we go. Putting the TTM squeeze up on my upper chart has messed me up a little bit, but I'm getting used to it. And we'll go at or below. Let me know. 
All right. Let's go back to our lists. Let's see. FAS, uh, GWRE, DRI, DNMR, and EBS. And we look for ones that have been added, uh, you know, well, let's say the Kapok curve, uh, ARWR was in the Arun stupid buy signal on the daily on the 3rd. Uh, looks like work was, JWN. So if it hits the Arun stupid buy signal, uh, and it comes up on a couple other lists, then we should be watching it. Uh, looks like zip showed up on one list and then another list. SNPS and DTIL. What are, have we gone through as many as I can look at per page? Oh, I need another page. All right, load me up. It's still July 3rd. EOLS, AGTC, PEGA, FC, GENI, NOC, EXTR, DCI, NARI, LB. Okay, so we've got quite a few things to work with. Newegg is one I'm definitely interested in. Newegg, uh, ASTR, A star. Um, yes. And on the pump and dump four hour list, EFX, EXTR, FDIS, IDT, and JCI. So those might be ones we're looking at to be pumped and dumped right away, first thing market open. All right. Very good. Of course, now signing up for uh, you know watch lists and emails and whatnot that will uh, it'll flood your email box. So. Unless you like typing in uh, what you specifically are looking for in your email, uh, create an email just for you to get alerts at. You know, it, it'll help. All right. M-R-I-N, B-L-I-N, Apple, AMD, Staff, and Neo. Okay, so it looks like if you are rocking that small account, you should be looking for B-L-I-N, M-R-I-N, Staff, and Neo. AMD and Apple are reliable stocks, though. Uh, I've made money on both reliably, uh, going off of just overbought and oversold. Uh, however, you determine overbought and oversold, be it RSI, percent R, Arun, Stochastic, uh, it doesn't matter. All right. Now... That is what uh, the Momo LBR. Let's look up the market sentiment. And we'll probably see something similar. Uh, market Senti on Z Daily. Okay. Now that is quite a few stocks for the Market Senti on Z Daily. All right. Let's see if we can tighten that up a little bit. You know, make it tight. Volume, sizzle, market maker, move. Uh, even that volume is still a little high. Let's add a uh, volume index. And let's go 50%. And that means that it will be at 50% of the average. You know, greater than. Let's hit save. And it did take, uh, hopefully it took some down. Hopefully it didn't add any. Okay. Edit again. Let's add another filter. Call sizzle. Uh, I mean, if we're looking for it to go up, we can do a call sizzle. Put 
sizzle, P-E. And we could stay away from the ones that are, uh, you know, negative in price. Uh, let's throw a beta in there. And we want beta. 0.85. Okay. So the list is getting shorter. There we go. I mean, that's not not terrible. It gives us a good good handful of things to pick through. And if something starts to move, it'll really pop off here. Okay. Cool. Sono. Sonos. Well, with this being our low, that being our overall buy signal. Um divergence here and here, you know, uh, overall, very large divergence, you know, something that uh, I think we, I think we pretty much have to train ourselves to look for divergences. That's something you have to teach yourself because if people always point it out to you, you'll never actually be able to understand when you see one. You know, I think that might be the reason why I don't see them like teaching about it a lot. Although, this has less than half, less than half, half, I want half. Half the value. It's getting pushed down. E well, hmm. at least it is a little short-termish, all right? It so looks like the little little down, uh, you know, moving into earnings here. So, it'd be great to see a reversal, but overall, it looks like uh, you know, Arun down is going to take over very soon. You know, down, up, down, up, down is the next move. Okay. So look for a push down to this uh, $14 level overall, but we will hit these gaps along the way. Big gap right here. Expect a big fall from $20 to $17. Even though on the daily chart we have hit our bottom here. I might get to put my foot in my mouth. I'm glad I've only got one. <laughs> At least in that case. Okay, so if we get this little red dot or a green dot squeeze, and on the daily we can get a rune to uh, show positive, then things will work out. Weekly doesn't look so great, but the, uh, yeah, and then this four hour doesn't look so great either, but it doesn't mean on the four hour that it won't reverse, and that on the weekly that still won't stay the same, or only slightly change, yeah, given that it's just now trying to chart here. All right. I I wouldn't trust Sono too much. It's it it is being it's being nippleated. All right, V I S L. All right, from their low of three dollars, we got our low. Uh, okay, a little bit of a squeeze. I'm glad to see this low is in here. All right, a weekly. ENTX. This is an interesting signal that happens. We're getting a good buying signal there. Bottom, top. Yeah, yeah, that's that. This could turn into a short situation very quickly. 
I wouldn't put any... Yeah, I, I don't think I'd put any money into VizL, which is VizLink technology. Looks like short term, maybe. And, you know, one or two days next week it might pop off, but it's not something I would invest uh, and leave money into, given that it's hit a current high. Um, yeah. It looks like it'll be trending down, but looks like a you know, short term pop and then it's going to drop. So it's probably in conjunction with the one hour breakout in the morning. Okay. Yes, NNMD, uh, recent low, that's a good thing. Although, it is very overextended, I do say. And I think it's going to be pushing back down. Yeah, so... Uh, doesn't look real great for NNMD. Mind medicine. Unfortunately, I think that they are going to try to push it downwards. It, it looks like it, but this has been one heck of a squeeze. And if on the daily chart they can reverse this squeeze and buying pressure can open it back up, and they can get above this middly accepted price of 361 or 3. Uh, yeah, I'll say, what is this, 59 or so? And, yeah, we've got to start getting up above into this range. You know, get above 376, and it'll be a lot easier to move. So, and we'll be watching for that. But this is a very long squeeze. I mean, months and months and months and months and months, okay? So, if uh, we can keep a rune down, push a rune up you will see a big pop in MNMD. And given the four hour chart though, looks like we are gonna come up in price some. All right, I wouldn't trust it overall long term. Uh, don't, don't invest in it long term. The uh, weekly, you know, far out price isn't there. It's only 30, what seven cents or something you know if you can't hold a weekly you know value greater than 37 cents but you're trading at three dollars and 41 cents there's something going on okay big hammer big hammer barnes and noble now barnes and nobles one that i was talking about last week so make sure you subscribe so you can have that information and you know about it but uh as we can see, Barnes & Noble's got this very, very big hammer going on. And, uh, you know, I expect, uh, of course, a little bit of a pushback given from the low to the high. But let's just say that you bought in at this low from $1.11, and now you're selling at the high of $10.19. Well, I mean, oh my goodness, you made nearly, <laughs> I mean, you 10 x your money. You know, for a $1,000 investment in Barnes & Noble, you'd be pulling out $10,000. So, or at least, uh, you know, anyhow, you get the math. So that's the idea. You know, if we can go around and find, uh, you know, these particular, uh, you know, stocks with these types of moves, you can take an account, uh, let's say, two, three, four, five thousand uh, dollars $5,000, plant 1000 here, 1000 here, 1000 here, and, of course, with the help of Arun and Stochastics and Kapok and uh, many others, or uh, whichever ones you particularly prefer, we'll be able to see, bam, right there. There it was. There was a signal. Here's where it really transferred over. And then we got our low signal and our VWAP back here. But if you wanted to wait until you got your full verification and the vortex started coming down, you got your buy signal on the Kapok. That happened, looks like 525 at $1.53.
All right. So I thank you for your time. You know, feel free to come back. I make lots of videos for uh, you know the educational purposes only, of course. And you know, subscribe if you like the content. Hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And I will catch you in the next video. Everybody, have a good holiday.